This radio piece from Friday was a result of two of our fans in Detroit calling in to the number one radio station, suggesting they hear about Bailey's Promise and what we're doing about school shooting incidents. We took a lot of calls and we talked about possible solutions and two different listeners to all talk uh, called in and told us about our next guest as someone with real solutions to the problem. So we invited him on to give us some uh, uh, advice, really, and talk about this issue. Steve Reinhardt, founder and CEO of AITX. Good morning. How are you? I'm okay, Kevin. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay. I, you know, I, I talked a lot about, uh, you know, we can secure courthouses, we can secure airports, we can secure police stations. You know, why can't we secure schools? And I, I, I just fully believe that we can secure schools if we make it a priority, if we are willing to spend the money. And we've decided so far that it's just not worth the cost. You, you're, you have a company that, 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 that looks into some of the technology. Talk to us about the possibilities of securing schools. Yeah, sure. Well, you know, first, you know, listening to the audio clips that you played before bringing me on, I mean, that stuff is like so close to home. I think for everybody, it's it's really difficult not to get choked up to some point when you hear the children speak about it. It's it's shocking. And we go through this as a nation, you know, all too regularly. And, you know, we're sitting here on some technology, firearm detection technology that could be a layer in helping lock down schools, give additional notice, create an additional deterrent. And, you know, we've sat around here for years and just, you know, we're, we're giving it away. We just want people to have it. This isn't a for-profit move. There's a small maintenance fee for sure. I want to be open about that. But the bulk of the cost is covered by us. If, if there's anything we can do, I, I can't sit around anymore with, with my team and wait for this next incident to happen and have a tool in hand that might be able to affect some positive change. So that's where we're at. And Kevin, I know I just kind of shared all kinds of stuff, but I'm sorry. This stuff no, is, it's hard. is really, it, really it, it hurts. hard. Yeah. It, it, it breaks your heart. Uh, talk about what this solution is or what some of the solutions are or what a solution could be uh, that, that you have ready to go. Sure. So, Really, uh, in an active shooter situation, uh, the statistics show that about 80% of the time, the shooter will pull up to the school in their vehicle. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll take their, their weapon out of its gun case or something, and they will walk through the uh, parking lot towards the building with the firearm exposed. Uh, for example, uh, the Uvalde shooter walked around the building for almost three minutes with the firearm exposed before he uh, entered. And, you know, in some cases when the walk is 30 seconds or 45 seconds, if in that time period we could determine that somebody is approaching the building with an exposed weapon, from there other systems can lock down the school, create notifications, it notify the police, and shave precious minutes off of two elements. The first is understanding what's happening so we can verify that there is a situation immediately. And the second is shave minutes off of response, which we know will also save lives. So it's not the end all be all. There are societal issues that, you know, need to be cured in order to reduce these incidents. But shaving minutes and keeping shooters on the outside is just something that will create um some benefit for someone at some time for so sure. So this this would be some sort of camera that would identify that a weapon is uh, in the in the area and in, in moving towards the school, and then that would trigger what? Yeah, so it's 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 an analytic that works on most existing cameras. So that's why it's really really low cost. It's it, the 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 monthly maintenance is like less than the cost of dinner for four out. Like the cost is no longer a factor that needs to be taken off. Now it has to do with bureaucracy and the will to do something, the will to pull our heads out of the sand and say, you know what? It can happen here. Let's be realistic. It can happen here. Every shooter incident, when you talk to the people, they're like, it'll never happen here. And it does. So let's be realistic about it. Are people so telling you ahead. no? Yeah. Uh, sorry, you're offering it up. Are people saying no? I, I 
Well, we have about 75 uh, schools and school districts that have reached out to us and are engaged in us to take us up in the offer right now. Um, and that's great. And we're super excited about it. We're super happy about it. But we've got to get the word out, which is why I'm so glad I'm on your show this morning. And we've got to move the bureaucrats to action. That is the biggest part of it. It is. And, and I don't entirely blame them. I'm certainly going to blame them for not taking action forcefully. But I understand that they're in their roles, you know, for administrative and educational purposes. And this is far outside of anything that they've had to deal with. But let's wake up and say, hey, we do have to deal with it now. They've made investments in, in cameras, something like 33% of schools in the United States already have security cameras. We're just putting the analytic on them. We're just buying them minutes. And that, for me, anybody who's not attacking this program and getting involved in us to put this analytic on their cameras is, is negligent. I mean, let's just be clear. It's how can, just negligence at this point. Steve, how can school officials get a hold of you? How can people get a hold of you to find out how to, to get this on their cameras? Yeah, but the, the program is, is called Bailey's Promise, and it's, um, it's in honor of, of a victim of somebody that we know who died in a, um, in a, in a shooting in Kentucky a few years ago. We only have a few so, seconds left, Steve. It, radsecurity.com, R-A-D security.com. Find Bailey's Promise on radsecurity.com. There's a sign-up sheet. Sign up. We'll reach out to you. Please do it today. Steve Reinhardt, thank you so much for your offer. Thanks for coming on. Please get a hold of him right now. It's all talk. I'm Kevin Dietz. Since mainstream media is slow to move, we need a grassroots effort to get the word out. If you want to do something, anything, please share the word. Cost is no longer a factor in having this protective layer.